Hello, everyone. It's Evelyn. Thanks for joining me today. I have a small unboxing and review for you of a few Truly Me outfits that I've acquired over the past few months. Two of them are my most recent purchase, which was some clothes that I got for my new Truly Me 77, my very first boy doll. So they are a bit more masculine. And then I also have a swimsuit that I purchased through the Black Friday sale. I also got a bunch of kit items in that sale, but I'm saving those for a separate video, so that way it's a little bit easier to search later if somebody is looking for a review of those specific items. So let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Before we get started, I'd like to formally introduce you to Isaiah. This is my Truly Me 77, my first and probably only boy doll, and name credit for this guy goes to Christy from AG Takes Over. I had originally been wanting a Z name for him because he is going to be a sibling to Zuri, who is my Truly Me 58. But for some reason, the ones I was coming up with all seemed a little bit too harsh for this guy. He's got such a kind face, just feels like such a warm, kind soul. And the name Isaiah just really gives off that vibe to me. So meet Isaiah, everybody, and let's go ahead and open up some clothes for him. The first outfit that I'm opening up is the Pop of Plaid Holiday Outfit, which retails for $40. I'm so excited about this one because there are quite a few like basic wardrobe staples in here that any of my dolls can use regardless of their gender identity. Look at the little snowflakes on this tissue paper. So first we have this vest. It's red. It feels just like any other suit vest that you might find. Super realistic. And then we've got the little buttons on here. A little hard to get up unbuttoned but you know i guess um kids need a grown-up grown-ups might need a grown-up for help um speaking of button-ups we've got this adorable button-up shirt like most of the button-ups that live in my house it's wrinkly but that's okay you've got the collar you've got the buttons and the material just feels like a regular old button-up shirt that you might find it like kohl's or dillard's or something like that Next up are these basic dress pants. They feel like that khaki material. They are so nice. Those aren't real pockets in the back, but the pockets in the front are real. And I just really love these. They're great basic. I just love that they're like a miniature version of my husband's suit and his dress clothes. It's totally adorable. I just love it. That's the nice thing about American Girl that really sets it apart from like our generation and brands like that. All of this just feels so real. That scarf is adorable. It has a nice plaid pattern. And these shoes, they are gonna be such a good basic. I love a good basic shoe and those fit the bill, but they do have a little bit of a dressier vibe to them. Next up is this bow tie and it is so cute. I love it. It's red matches his vest and the fabric is a little bit similar to the vest as well i just adore it it's a cute little bow tie what's not to love and then some plain basic black socks which are perfect for this outfit i just love that it comes with socks i think that that really actually makes it feel a lot more worth the price point and so here he is in the outfit without the vest and scarf see it's just like a good basic outfit Nice basic black shoes, don't have to worry about tying them. And of course the fabric has picked up a lot of lint here, but a nice trouser, a beautiful white dress shirt, and a bow tie. How cute does Isaiah look in this? And here it is all put together. So I've added the vest on there as well as the scarf. Oh, I just cannot get over how cute he is in this. Those, sh oh, those pants. The details on this, it's just incredible. I'm a big fan of this one, and if you've got your eye on it, I would definitely highly recommend it. Next up is the Game On outfit. I like this one because it really could go either way. A more masculine doll could wear it, a more feminine doll could still wear it, but my husband and I are big gamers, so we actually don't play on an Xbox, although we have both owned one in the past, but we're both gamers and so this was definitely a must. I've had my eye on it for a while and I definitely regret not getting it when it was on sale. That said, this is a nice good hoodie. It's like kind of a terry material. It's super soft and cozy and I love the game controller on the front. 
Next up, we have a nice basic sneaker. These do look a little bit more masculine to me with the pop of red in there. I do wish they would have left that out and made like a nice gray sneaker. But these pants are really nice. You've got like a little bit of wear on them. But otherwise, they're just like a nice basic black, almost jegging or skinny jean. And they have real pockets, which I just love that detail in a doll outfit. And I think this is actually the exact same pamphlet that came with the Xbox furniture set, which I also got. And here he is. Doesn't he look adorable in this? This little guy looks really good in red. Here's a close up of the controller. I love hoodies. To be honest though, this one was a little hard to get on over his head. So, I mean, he doesn't even have a lot of hair, so I can imagine it would be a little tough to get on over a doll's head that has a lot more hair. But it's so cute. These pants are a little bit more on the skinny side though than they originally looked. I thought that they might be a little bit more bulky than they actually are, but they are actually a skinny jean. And the final outfit that I'll be unboxing in this video is the Rosie Resort Swimsuit. This retails for $34, but I was able to grab this for $20 during the Black Friday sale. That's why this footage was taken so long ago because I purchased it back then and didn't really know what video to put it in. So here it is. The very first thing in here is this wicker tote bag. It is really nice and I really like this kind of pink fringe here. And it also has this pink faux leather handle. Next is this towel. I really like this one. I love the pink. Um, it's a really nice bubblegum, almost baby pink. And then you've also got a little bit of a darker pink accent with this lotus flower. That also matches with, I think it's the relax and refresh outfit. It's got that same lotus flower. And I think that might tie in to like the spa that they have. So the shoes, I'm not the biggest fan of. These are really plasticky. If you have McKenna, it's kind of like her meat shoes a little bit. These definitely look like they came from an R generation set and not an American Girl set. I would have probably even preferred that they use foam, like a flip flop, flop foam, because I just can't see anybody really actually wearing shoes like that. So here's the swimsuit. I really love this. I think that the gold detailing on it is gorgeous. I like the asymmetrical sleeves. They kind of have a ruffle on one and kind of plain sleeve on the other. And the pattern on this is really cute. Again, we have some gold detailing. This is a ribbon on the sides and I love the little bows. I just think it's really cute. Uh, it is pink, there's ruffles, but it's still really nice. And honestly, I just, I can't get enough of the pink. I <laughs> love pink, so I'm not too mad about it. But here is Ren in this swimsuit. She looks so good in it. I just think she looks good in everything, but especially in the swimsuit, she looks so cute in pink. And again, the asymmetrical kind of top is really cute. And of course, the color and the gold accent works really well. I love the towel, it's nice and big. And that tote bag is super cute too. The only thing that's a big no for me are these shoes. I would have loved to have seen maybe a gold sandal similar to the Relax to the Max outfit. That came with some really cute gold sandals and that would have looked so much better. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope whether or not those outfits were on your radar, it was helpful or at least entertaining. And just a quick plug before I go, I know I've been mentioning it a lot, but as of filming this video right now, I am 16 subscribers away from hitting a major milestone for my channel almost to 1,000 subscribers. It's absolutely unfathomable. I can't imagine that many people. And what's even harder to imagine is that a lot, actually most of my viewers are not even subscribed. So, I mean, I know a lot of us just kind of watch videos as they show up on our page, but actually clicking that subscribe button really helps creators out. So if you haven't done so, I would love it if you would consider it. Otherwise, we will chat soon. I've got a lot more videos coming, but until then, take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.